Make sure to check out my channel for more videos just like this. What is going on people? It's your boy Mr. Bucket List and here we are on the Norwegian Breakaway. Now we'll be doing a full tour of almost everything on the ship so just sit back and relax. Now this tour will be a little bit different. I'll be showing food, I'll be showing restaurants, clubs, everything that you have on the ship and then I'll have links to the full videos as well. So just check it out. Peace. All right, so right here you literally have these TVs that's on every single floor of the ship. Um, and you pretty much, you can book shows, you can book restaurants, you can you can order a tender tickets. You can do so many different things from these TVs. Uh, my recommendation is they have the same exact thing on the cell phone app, which is free for all the guests on board. So I would just use that. Um, but like I said, this is a way for people that maybe don't want to use a phone or whatever the case may be. Um, so just kind of check it out and look at the information here. It kind of tells you exactly what you can do as far as re reserving things. All right, so I just want to give a quick heads up. I do apologize in some of the video I will be kind of mumbling. Um, one, because it was around 5.30 to 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, and two, I mean, of course, everybody will sleep around that time. So I didn't want to be a random black guy just kind of talking really loud in the middle of an empty ship. So just kind of give you all a heads up in advance. So what's going on, people? We are in the middle of the atrium here. As you can see, it's a nice, large screen. Um, it is double story. And empty. So not bad at all. Okay, just in peace. Now around here you can check out the internet and stuff. If you don't have a Wi-Fi package, just come over here and use a computer. They charge you. I guess how many, how much money per minute? I don't really know because I actually have an internet package. So I was up here earlier, and I guess I'll cut it in the video so you all can see it, but see that? Not bad. Not bad at all. And then right behind, well, right in front of us, we have one of the main bars. Actually, Love Bistro, sorry. So this is one of the specialty restaurants. And there we go. We have the main staircase, the chandelier. The casino is always going to be the central point, no matter what ship you're on. So again, we get the stairwell. I don't know what's going on with these ropes. I guess in the morning they don't want people falling, but it's just weird having them there. Um, let's get this casino because I don't want to smell like smoke for the rest of the day. It's 
so coming up is actually one of my favorite restaurants because it's fast it's junk food and it's up in 24 hours it's called Oshihan's it's actually open right now but thankfully no one's there so I can walk around a little bit but that's cool because you get a nice view of the atrium see Oshihan's Bar and Grill and then that's the second part of it it's where I usually come and sit and eat Right here we have one of the 24 hour bars slash restaurants that's on board. It's called Oshihan's. Um, it's a it's pup food, but it's really good in my opinion. I love wings, and so I love to go here to get wings and fish and chips and things like that. Um, and they also have some really good breakfast. So definitely, I mean, if you're on the ship, come here. It's a lot of like fun and games and stuff like that. Um, you'll see it around here, but it's a really just a fun spot to be at for adults and for kids as well. Like I said earlier, hopefully in the video. So let's take a tour. So as you can see, you got a pool table. Um, I'm assuming you got darts. Yep, so the pool starts here. So you got darts. Um, let's keep walking. Got all these little games and stuff. That's like some rip off Fast and Furious. So. Uh, it's called Nas uh, Pac-Man, which is actually pretty dope. Pac-Man and Galaga. So yeah, you got all this, plus you got food. So you got a great view of the atrium down there. And then you got some air hockey. And the basketball, little ball game. Powered by your boy, Sega. And then look right here, you got a you got a bowling alley. This is the funny part. So with the bowling alley, you get these little balls. You can hold them with one hand, and this is how you bowl. So I mean you're not using a full-size ball on this, at least on this ship. You do get the bowl, so that's pretty cool. And then for any of my video game nerds, this is actually Sock Adventure pose. Just want to throw it out there. Okay. And then this leads to the breakaway theater. Now the door is shut. I might try to... Alright people, so this is the theater. It's not as big as the Epic. The Epic has, it has like two levels in the balcony. This one does not. This is still a pretty decent size. Now what I like to do is come back here and sit near the back because right near the handicap area. You can see why. I don't have to worry about people getting up and kids and just things I don't like. So that's it. First you have the Manhattan Room, they actually cut that shit off right now so I might check it out later on. And right here is the Manhattan Room, this is one of the uh, main three dining rooms they have on board. And this one's cool because they have dancing, uh, like a little dance floor and they also have music as well. The only thing is, I mean you can barely hear the music because of how far you are and how loud the restaurant is, but it's still a good place to eat. I made a separate video for this, for this entire experience, it's called Velvet, it's a dinner show, it's re actually really good, so I'll go ahead and put it in the description and leave a card for it as well, um, but this is a really cool spot, it is paid for, so you have to pay an additional $30, but it's, in my opinion, it's definitely worth it.
shoot, it's dark outside. I thought it was light already. So one of the um, places you can come is here, which is for the lifeboats. You can tell it's a beautiful morning already. The lifeboats, and if you want to come and be away from noise, even though it's kind of noisy out here, this is one of the areas. Areas. So you got bar 21. Just, I don't know. I don't like to be around gambling and smoking stuff. So I haven't really used this bar, but you have all these casino jackpot little things, slot machines. Um, and now it kind of sucks because I actually like this Asian restaurant a lot, at least on the Epic. And this is how small it is on this one. I mean, and it's high top tables too, which I just can't stand. I hate it. You just feel like your legs are going to fall off. Um, but this is Shanghai's, and so I literally have not come here yet because I just don't feel like first waiting an hour and a half for Chinese food and then two just because of where it's at in the casino. Even though I'll be honest, the casino, once you're on the ship for a week, the smell it just comes natural. You just, you just kind of smell, you smell smoke. Shanghai's. All right. Let's walk a little bit around this casino. See what we got. So we've got some tables. So That's my first time coming to this area. So yeah, it's pretty stacked. I refuse to play any type of slot machine or anything like that. But it's here. Man, it's a lot. Shoot. Even more. So I really, even though the Epic's a bigger ship, I'm pretty sure this one has more, has more stuff than the Epic when it comes to gambling. Which man, and now I'm actually a little bit lightheaded because of the smoke. The cool thing is they got refreshments, so if you want to gamble and get some food, just come over here. Okay. That's cool. They're trying to make it look all friendly and stuff. When they're taking people's money. Now they got a rope to off, but this is how you get from level to level. So let's go back down and we'll walk around a bit. Um, now certain places I'm not going to go in if I think they're cleaning, which I think they're cleaning right here, which is headliners from the comedy clubs. Let's take a peek in there and see. Looks pretty cool. Let's keep walking. So, Hitliners, the comedy club. <clears throat> yeah, Technaki. I think that door is shut too. So, that's locked. So Tepanaki. It's actually really cool. I like that one. I like that one a lot. And then we got Mix. So this bar is usually always packed because people come here to eat too. Now once I have Sabre. Chicken fries take a look so good.
then you got the menus right above, so I'll give you all. Just to FYI, so this is one of the, like I said, the, one of the three main restaurants they have. The Manhattan's the biggest one. They all serve the same food. So if you don't have a preference of, as far as which restaurant you want to go to, like I said, just pick one of the smaller ones. It's a lot easier to get into, and they have the same food. Look how tender that meat is, you all. Literally, I didn't even use a knife. I don't know where my knife's at. I just used a fork and it fell apart like that. Now, like for the Spiegel tent, I'll also do a separate video for the waterfront and also some nighttime videos as well. So that'll be later, and I'll definitely leave a link in the description. Um, but the waterfront was one of my favorite places to go to, so that's why I'll make a separate video for it. It's just nice to be out in the open and just being able to go to restaurants and also not be on the top pool deck as well. So it's pretty cool. It's really, really packed. And then it also has outside viewing area, but like I said, it doesn't look the best right now, so whatever. Pretty cool. This is actually the first place I came on the ship because for the Solos meetup, we had to come here for whatever reason. So this is Malting's Whiskey Bar. Um, so a lot of usually older people stay here, but it's still a little nice area to be in. And then right here you have the cigar room. Oh, it smells like it. We ain't sitting in there. Shoot. Probably one of the worst smells I've ever smelled. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, it smells like a toilet wrapped in <laughs> cigarette wrap. It just smells nasty. Um, Alright. So as we keep walking. Now I went in here and did this, so I'll show you all videos of this as well, but this was the ice bar and this is actually really, really cool. It was a little bit too cold for me, I mean I'm used to Florida now after being here for about five years, so it was definitely cold, but yep, that's the ice bar. Okay. <laughs> 
pictures she, later. She's really, she's really cute. So we're about to do the ice bar. See? Okay. So deck eight also houses the um, waterfront. I was there earlier in the video, so you will all be able to see it then, but that's for the waterfront. I might do it again, depending on how much time I have. Um, <clears throat> so this is more of that, I guess you want to call it elegant deck. So this is where, like a lot of the specialty restaurants and stuff like that are at. Um, yeah, La, La Cucina, which I believe is one of the Italian restaurants. So it's not bad. Man, it looks weird outside. So yeah, this is La Cucina. Um, now a lot of these, since they're on Deck 8, a lot of these have the outside ocean view um, seating. Sorry, I'm just tired. It's early in the morning. So what you do to get outside, you hit your hand on that little button and then just walk outside. Dang it. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a good sunrise. It's so dang on cloudy outside. Shoot. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Wow. So they got the chairs lined up like that because I'm sure they're gonna have like a little seminar. <laughs> and then this is Sid Norman's Poor House. So this place is really popular with those folks. Um, they come in here and get a drink and stuff like that. Let's see if I can walk in real fast. the poor house get the stage so we're in one of the most famous flats on the ship so definitely make sure you come here if you have some time it's called Sid Norman's poor house all right so that's the ice bar like I said I'll cut in some videos but you pretty much they give you your little your jacket um, it's like putting on a poncho basically you put it on and then you walk inside and then this I believe it's 19 degrees in there so of course after I was done with that I definitely came and got a drink because I just I needed it. So here's another bar to have and this also has out outdoor access. So let's see what it looks like outside. Yeah, the sun's coming up. warmer than it was before though I'll say that and then you got wasabi and ocean blue the raw bar I didn't go to these places I just didn't feel the need to it's definitely smells like fish So around here they usually have like, like watches and stuff. I guess they got a way to close it up before you come. That's, yeah, that's cool. So usually this is open. They'll have like things inside of it, but they got it closed because no one's awake or out here. So that's pretty dope. And then you can see all the shops. I went into one of the shops with a guy I knew because he wanted to buy some extremely expensive liquor. Um, other than that, I'm not really a, a cruise ship shop type of guy. Kind of weird, but it's called Trade Winds if y'all are interested. And then you got Cagney's and Moderno's. So these places are open in the morning for breakfast. So 
They're really nice. Spice H2O. Now this is an adults only area basically until at night and then it changes which is ironic but that's just how it is. Um, this place gets pretty crowded I didn't come here much because it's just it's so many people. And of course they had to come and save the um, chairs as soon as they can. I'm just trying to get to the pool, but it seems like it's impossible sometimes. Oh, there it is. Just got a quick lunch breakfast. Beautiful view. That's there. And then this is the splash area for the kids. I got this at night, but I wanted to definitely show you all it during the day. And this is, I think, one of two pools. Look how small it is. I mean, it's you, can, you might as well be able to get a pool. Just go to just, just go to the thermos for y'all. So that's all the slides and stuff right there. I don't know if I'm gonna try it out tonight, today or not. I'm, I'm just so tired. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. And these bars in this area in general, I just honestly stay away from. I just don't feel like dealing with the crowds. And then this is the second pool a lot of people talk about they say it's not big enough and for a ship that holds close to 5,000 people I agree just say like, why I hate coming up here it's just crazy you got the mom that laid all the stuff out and when I went back to bed
wall as well. This is also closed, kind of sucks. I'm surprised the fires aren't closed. Probably are. So, let me show you all something. This house. Watch the one. This old lady just came trucking through. She almost knocked me over, and I mean, she's like half my size, but she was ready to go. So, if you're on that, just make sure you're, you're careful. And then this is the new restaurant. This is called American Diner. This will play Smart Rio Bill. So for you all that was curious, like myself at the time, it is no deck, so it's actually a really good location. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to head to something called the Sun Deck, which is the highest spot on the ship to get sun. Um, now, I don't, this is wet, I don't know if it rained or they just sprayed it down with water because I know they do both, but it's pretty wet. I'm assuming it rained because I don't see any wet floor signs besides that one behind the corner. It is soaked up here. Okay, so I'll be honest, I didn't know this portion was up here. This reminds me of the quiet area on the Epic, so this is pretty dope. This is exactly like the quiet area on the Epic. So yeah, if you don't want to fight for a seat near the pool, just come up here. You'll be A-OK. -okay. See you in the bar back here. Your boy been missing out. I'm kind of pissed right now. I guess I'll come up here today. Uh, but then that's vibe. And then from the sun deck, you get this nice view of the pool, slides, the marketplace, the ship. Not bad at all. Shout out to Wi Fi on both sides. All right, people, so this is the sun deck. This is the highest point of the ship. Uh, deck 16. No. busy because well it's too windy because right now it's closed which kind of sucks um, this is what it looks like and there's a plank somewhere I'm not trying to find it but there's a plank somewhere where you can walk to the edge of the ship and I don't see it so I'm not really sure where that's at
this is so scary. We got a ship over there. The beautiful, beautiful thing down there. Amazing. And look at this, y'all. Wow. Oh my goodness. So you all, I am standing on the edge of a ship. And wow. Crazy. It is your boy, Mr. Bucket List. Got the sun trying to peek out. It's right behind those clouds and it's kind of driving me crazy, but actually that's a good picture, so I'm probably going to do that. A quick note about the ropes course. So it literally was closed for about, I think, about five days out of a seven or eight eight day cruise. So definitely, if you get the chance, please go ahead and actually get, go on it. At least do it one time and walk the plank. It's definitely worth it. Now, in regards to this spot, this literally was one of my favorite places on the ship. Like, I spent so much time there. Some people say it's worth it. Some people say it's not or maybe, whatever the case. I loved it. I mean, it was beautiful. It had a nice pool in there. Beautiful climate. Water was provided. Just relaxing. Like, literally, it was the place to go to get away from the crowds and also still have a good time. So, definitely, definitely, I'll be doing a full review of it soon. Get a spa pass if you can. the 
facilities. So yeah, um, it's literally, the place is open about 8 o'clock, it's about 8, 8.08. And it's a sea day, it's our last sea day being bad. Not bad at all. And last but not least is going to be the Solos Lounge and Cabin. So I did a full video on this. I'm just going to do a quick little brief overview right now so you all can see it. But definitely check out the full video so you can see everything about it. Alright, so right here is your Latitudes Rewards program. Welcome back. You see you get Apollo Sparkling Wine and some other discounts and stuff. And there it goes right there. So I'm assuming that's it. If I drink it and then they charge me for it, I'm be pissed. But yeah, and then that of course you got to pay for it. But... If you made it to the end of this long 45 minute video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I just, like I said, I want to show you all everything and it took this amount of time to even just condense it. This ship has a lot to go for it. So that's why it's so long. A lot of separate videos are coming soon, hopefully on a daily and weekly basis. So check out the channel and thank you to my current subscribers. I'll see you soon. Peace.